Hey everyone, Chuck here. Hope you're having a great day today here. So in this video, what we're gonna talk a bit about here is supply chain mapping for risk management. And I think what'll work best here um, is I'm gonna read what I've got written down on the document to you so you can think about it, give you my thoughts. I'm certainly not a risk management expert, so I'd encourage you to do more research on it, certainly for back at work, but we're here for learning and preparation for the exam. So let me, you don't mind me kind of looking off to the side here. Let me read a bit what we got here. One of the requirements that we have as far as preparation is uh, identifying and managing supply chain risks. And so the statement says, well, use supply chain mapping and event monitoring for risk identification with regulatory requirements to support different levels of risk. So sounds like, you know, um, very formal in that and, and and really what does it mean is it means we got to put together some type of map or some type of framework ahead of time so we understand what our supply chain is and we can look at it and identify potential risks so when we talk about mapping what we're looking at here is you know going to a map be it google or anywhere else or whatever we use for software and you know placing on that map where our factories are where our warehouses are at distribution centers, customers are at, uh, the different traffic lanes and what moves from where to where and what's in each facility. So we can start using guidelines from risk management as a profession to say, oh, there's this part of the country over here that's only served from this one warehouse down here and it's right off the ocean. And if something happens down here, um, we, we've got nothing else out here that helps us support this territory out here. So we're not going to necessarily understand that unless we have that visual representation combined with um, you know, the, the logic and the technologies of softwares out there to help us identify that type of thing. From a why is it important? Because it makes sure that we're aware of at any time what's going on and where possible risk events are. So mapping it out becomes important for us. And, and from an impact standpoint, both for mapping and monitoring, we can uh, respond to risk events as they can occur. I would imagine that we can connect together our map with, you know, potentially weather patterns and other things emerging to see where there's weather alerts, as an example, political alerts or whatever, to see what elements of our supply chain could be at risk. So this gives us a chance ahead of time from an impact to identify those things and uh, take actions to be able to to um, to solve those problems, and so that's what we're looking at from a you know what mapping is and risk management, why it's important, and the impact on how it can help us, or quite honestly, leave us blind if we don't do anything about it.